Look, look at everything down there. Kind of just suck it up. Hey guys, it's One Bait One Bass Fishing here, and welcome to my channel. And so basically today, what I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be feeding every fish tank in my room. I'm also going to be giving you a tank update, and I also have six crawfish in uh, separated in those two tanks behind me. If you can see them, if you can see them. Sorry for the mess. Um, yeah, I just slept. Oh, you hungry? They also get hungry if they start, you know, opening their mouths and closing them. So I'm gonna have to show you the tank update on the bluegill that I put in a couple of weeks ago. So right here is the bluegill that I caught and put in this tank. He's adjusting very nice. He's eating every time I feed them. Um, they're all adjusting very, they're, well, they're already adjusted, but they're all loving it. They're all hanging out. They're all friends in here. Um, of course, these are the, um, not the only fish I have in here. I have one other pleco, which gets all the algae, sucks up. Basically, yeah, that's what it does. So there is the albino pleco. He's hiding under there. And I had to remove the black thing if you're wondering over the filter to get more filtration. And if you also want to see my... If you want to see my turtles, I have two turtles, but this video you guys have to have to comment if you want to see my two Russian tortoises, and if you want me to have, it, have not make them, but, you know, breed them, because I've had a lot of requests from my friends to breed them, because they really like the color variation on them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick clip of the Russian tortoises. So, here are the Russian tortoises. They are very gentle. On the top, you see is Chompers. Chompers is the one climbing to the heat line. And Shelly, I don't want to bother her because they might be in their laying egg thingamabob stage. I also have two tanks over here. Uh, this is tech, this is my mom's. I'll be feeding them. Uh, this one is my mom's. And then I have a feeder tank back down there, which is no fish in there right now. So let me go ahead and show you the crawfish. So the crawfish, uh, 15 gallon tanks, 15 gallon tanks, and let's see, there are baby, not baby, they're actually really big crawfish. Oh, that one just pooped, as you can see. Uh, there is very cool crawfish. They really like the live plants. They like sitting on them. They like. They like the rocks, they like to be tucked in there. As you can see, they have moved all of these rocks. They, it was this completely flat, you have to let them move the rocks around. So what they do, I've actually heard them moving the rocks around during the night and they just go in and they feel safe in whatever place they are. So let me show you the other tank. Here is the other 15 gallon tank. It's a little bit different layout, but same thing. Uh, we have two crawfish hiding in the tree, and one crawfish dug all the rocks out from right there. I'll have to show you that. If you can see him in there, that's him right there. He's the big guy, keeper of this tank. He's basically the biggest one I caught, and I've always I caught these because I don't like spending money on rare fish like this. Not fish, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd call them rare. Um, so now I'm gonna feed them and feed the bluegills. So basically, I have love ones here. And what I do with them, I put them in, basically if you really do watch, you with them hot water, so get that hot water running. Take them over to the tank. Open the door. So I'll be feeding the bluegill first. Okay, boys. Feeding time. Just watch them eat these things. They'll just eat them like crazy. They really do like the bloodworms a lot. I'm focusing on is to see. 
the bluegill, just if you see, he'll go down, he'll target his, and he'll just go ahead and eat him. He's clearly the sheriff of the tank. And now let's go over to my crawfish tanks. Okay, crawfish, come on out. Now this is definitely the neatest. I love watching them feast. It's actually really neat. Let's see if I can get them to come down and eat. I know many of you think that I'm overfeeding them. Um, no, basically what I do, oh, there he goes. He's coming out to eat. Just look at that. And look at him down there. Just, they eat these crawfish. They actually do eat a lot. There comes that one. He's actually eating in the tree right now. See the size on that one? He's fully mature because of the tips of their claws. And what they do to eat, let me show you this. What they do to eat, basically, look at this. Watch, here's a close up of them eating. See that? Look, look at everything down there. And just suck it up. Hey, I see you. I see you. Don't do that. Don't mess around with them. I'll get you a new tank. You'll have to get out. He gets very aggressive when he eats. Hey, it's okay, guys. It's okay. Yeah, he gets very aggressive. So now that's the end of the video. And, um,. Uh, Please subscribe, share this video if you liked it. There will be many more tank updates in the future. And me adding stuff to the tanks. I'll be getting new tanks, like one right over there. I'm going to be putting a tank there. And I'm going to get a saltwater tank, probably like a 600-gallon saltwater tank soon in the future. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed. Uh, keep fishing. Never stop.